All right, <clears throat> welcome. I'm finally back. It's a long time to kill 40 enemies. Like, jeez, forever. But here we're at the core, and wow, look at that. <laughs> oh, Metaton. My, my, so you finally arrived. After our first meeting, I realized something ghastly. You're not just a threat to monsters, but humanity as well. Oh my, that's an issue. You see, I can't be a star without an audience. And besides, there are some people I want to protect. Oh. <laughs> Eager as always, eh? But don't touch that dial, there's something you haven't accounted for. As any true fan would know, I was first created as a human eradication robot. It was only after becoming a star that I was given a more photogenic body. However, those original functions have never been fully removed. Come any closer and I'll be forced to show you my true form. Fine then. Ready? It's showtime! Whoa! Look at this! We've never seen this before. Metaton Neo blocks the way. G guess you won't want to join my fan club. So, much like Muffet, that was extremely anticlimactic. Especially with all that build-up. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's it for Metaton. So, what's next? Oh. This is the long elevator. Really long elevator. There we go. And, oh, we're already this far? Hmm. <laughs> I'm, uh, getting a little sweaty all of a sudden for some reason. I, uh, not quite sure why. Um,. Yeah, I, I don't uh, don't really know, um, but we're we're pushing right along. Ah, uh, right. Oh, oh. Howdy, Chara. You finally made it home. Remember when we used to play here? <laughs> Boy. Today's going to be just as fun. I can feel them wriggling. Say that now. Oh. No chocolate. Yeah. Um, I don't remember if this happened yet in the game or not, but uh, from now on, if you ever see this red text when you inspect something, that's specifically Chara. Because Chara's favorite thing is chocolate. No chocolate. I remember when I first woke up here in the garden. I was so scared. I couldn't feel my arms or my legs. My entire body had turned into a flower. Mom, Dad, somebody help me. I called out, but nobody came. Oh boy. Oh, look at this. Two beds. His bed. My bed. Huh. Huh. My drawing. Our clothes. Dusty toys. So what's in here? 
heart-shaped locket in the box. Uh, I will take that. And what's in here? Knife. Will you take it? You got the real knife. Real knife. Weapon attack 99. Here we are! <laughs> About time. <laughs> and the locket. Gives you armor defense 99. You can feel it beating. Right where it belongs. The ballet shoes was thrown away. <laughs> From under renovations. Eventually, the king found me crying in the garden. I explained what had happened to him. Then he held me, Chara. He held me with tears in his eyes, saying, There, there, everything is going to be alright. He was so emotional, but for some reason, I didn't feel anything at all. Entries are always the same. It's a king size bed. Macaroni art of a flower for King Tad. Nothing useful. Still has that sweater. It's me, Chara. <clears throat> I unlocked the chain. I soon realized I didn't feel anything about anyone. My compassion had disappeared. And believe me, it's not like I wasn't trying. I wasted weeks with that stupid king, vainly hoping I would feel something. But it became too much for me. I ran away from home. Eventually, I reached the ruins. Inside, I found her, Chara. I thought of all people, she could make me feel whole again. She failed. <laughs> I realized those two were useless. I became despondent. I just wanted to love someone. I just wanted to care about someone. Chara, you might not believe this, but I decided it wasn't worth living anymore. Not in a world without love. Not in a world without you. So, I decided to follow in your footsteps. I would erase myself from existence. And you know what? I succeeded. But as I left this mortal coil, I started to feel apprehensive. If you don't have a soul, what happens when you... Something primal started to burn inside me. No, I thought. I don't want to die. Then I woke up. Like it was all just a bad dream. I was back at the garden. Back at my save point. Hmm. Interested, I decided to experiment. Again and again, I brought myself to the edge of death. At any point, I could have let this world continue on without me. But as long as I was determined to live, I could go back. Amazing, isn't it, Chara? I was amazed too. First, I used my powers for good. I became friends with everyone. I solved all their problems flawlessly. Their companionship was amusing. For a while, as time repeated, people proved themselves predictable. What would this person say if I gave them this? What would they do if I said this to them? Once you know the answer, that's it. That's all they are. I think we're having some meta-commentary on the game itself. It all started because I was curious. Curious what would happen if I killed them. I don't like this, I told myself. I'm just doing this because I have to know what happens. <laughs> what an excuse. You of all people must know how liberating it is to act this way. At least we're better than those sickos that stand around and watch it happen. Uh, Flyway's talking about you. Those pathetic people. 
that want to see it, but are too weak to do it themselves. I bet someone like that's watching right now, aren't they? <gasps> Nifty, he's got your number. Nowadays, even that's grown tiring. You understand, Chara. I've done everything this world has to offer. I've read every book, I've burned every book, I've won every game, I've lost every game, I've appeased everyone, I've killed everyone. Sets of numbers, lines of dialogue, I've seen them all. But you, you're different. I never could predict you, Chara. When I saw you in the ruins, I didn't recognize you. I thought I could frighten you, then steal your soul. I failed. And when I tried to load my save file, it didn't work. Chara, your determination. Somehow, it's even greater than mine. I just have one question for you, Chara. How did you get back to the ruins from here? Wait, I know. She must have taken you when she left, and decided to give you a proper burial, rather than hanging out in the basement forever. But, why then? What made you wake up? Did you hear me calling you? It doesn't matter now. I'm so tired of this, Chara. I'm tired of all these people. I'm tired of all these places. I'm tired of being a flower. Chara, there's just one thing left I want to do. Let's finish what we started. I will finish what you started. Let's free everyone. Then, let's... Let them see what humanity is really like. That despite it all, this world is still kill or be killed. Then, well, I had been entertaining a few ways to use that power. <laughs> but seeing you here changed my mind. Chara, I think if you're around, just living in the surface world doesn't seem so bad. We don't even need to leave to get them this time. The king has six of them locked away. I've tried hundreds of ways to get him to show me them, but he just won't. Chara, I know he'll do it for you. Why am I telling you all of this? Chara, I said it before. Even after all this time, you're still the only one that understands me. You won't give me any worthless pity. Creatures like us wouldn't hesitate to kill each other if we got in each other's way. So that's... So, that's... why... Huh, huh. What's this feeling? Why am I shaking? Hey, Chara, no hard feelings about back then, right? Huh, hey, what are you doing? Back off! I... I've changed my mind about all this. This isn't a good idea anymore. Y you should go back, Chara. This place is fine the way it is. S stop making that creepy face. This isn't funny. You've got a sick sense of humor. So, uh, I think you might guess what's, uh, up next over this way. And that said, we're gonna save that until the next video, because I do not want to attempt this whatsoever right now. So that's it for tonight. Uh, I hope you enjoyed these two videos. And... Yeah. <laughs> well, I think you know what's next. Yeah. So... Oh boy! Well, Nifty, you're really gonna make me do this, aren't you? Goodbye.